Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript set interval function and clear interval function. Set interval function executes a function repeatedly after every specified time interval. Set interval function is used to execute a function repeatedly after every specified time interval guys. Whereas clear interval function stops executing a function pointed by the handler. Clear interval function is used to stop executing the function guys. Let's have a demo and understand. We are going to create a counter guys. I minimize it. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it. Say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to JavaScript timing functions. I minimize it. I right click on I right click on default.html page say open with Google Chrome you can see default.html page is open in the Chrome title is set to JavaScript timing functions I go back to the code to display the counter I take help of the span tag I say here opening span tag and closing span tag I'm going to set an ID identify it uniquely by saying SPN counter then I say here opening script tag closing script tag then I say here type is equal to text or javascript inside this I create a variable called as counter initially I set the value 5 because I want to start the counter with 5 guys with 5 after every one second counter value should get reduced what I do here I am going to say set interval it should call change counter function after every one second 1000 milliseconds means one second guys here what I do I create the function called change counter and then I set the counter value I display the counter value in this pan tag how I say here document dot get element by ID in double quotations I give this ID SPN counter I am getting the reference to this pan tag here and then I am telling here inner HTML inner HTML means content content of SPN counter should be equal to the value of counter and this counter is of type number I'm going to convert it into a string so I see here string opening bracket closing bracket content of SPN counter will be the value of counter that is 5 right 5 is the value of counter now the counter value should get reduced right so I say here counter minus minus counter value becomes 4 counter value becomes 4 after one second again change counter function will get called the content of SPN counter should be the value of counter that is 4 4 is displayed then counter value becomes 3 after one second change counter function will be called content of SPN counter will be the value of counter that is 3 then counter value becomes 2 after 1 second change counter function will be called content of SPN counter will be value of counter that is 2 then counter value becomes 1 after 1 second change counter function will be called content of SPN counter will be value of counter that is 1 then the counter value becomes 0 when the counter value becomes 0 change counter function should not be executed again now we have to take help of clear interval function here we create a handler where counter handler equals to counter handler so it returns the handler to change counter function in this variable guys counter handler what we do is simply we say here if c-o-u-n-t-r counter value becomes zero okay at any time counter value becomes zero clear interval do not execute the function which is pointed by counter handler that's what I'm telling here if I save this go to browser and reload you see we see 5 4 3 2 1 that's it when counter value becomes 0 it stops executing the function which is pointed by the counter handler counter handler is going to point to this function guys if I change this value to 10 let's say okay if counter value I said 10 it starts with 10 I save it go to browser and reload 10 
नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन सो लाइक दैट वी यूज सेट इंटरवल फंक्शन एंड क्लियर इंटरवल फंक्शन गैट सेट इंटरवल फंक्शन इज यूज टू एग्जीक्यूट ए फंक्शन रिपीटेडली आफ्टर एवरी स्पेसिफाइड टाइम इंटरवल एंड इट रिटर्न द हैंडलर टू द फंक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप एग्जीक्यूटिंग दैट फंक्शन देन यू टेक हेल्प ऑफ क्लियर इंटरवल फंक्शन टू दैट यू पास द हैंडलर गाइज सो दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिस्प्लेइंग द काउंटर लेट्स हैव वन मोर एग्जाम्पल एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी यूज सेट इंटरवल एंड क्लियर इंटरवल फंक्शन गाइज and the one more example is we display the timer guys we create here three span tags let's see i say here opening span tag closing span tag inside that initially we display 0 0 and then i am going to set an id to this hours so here in this span tag we display hours then colon one more span tag i create copy that and paste here in this span tag we display minutes then i say colon again span tag in this we display seconds now i say here opening script tag closing script tag then i say here type is equal to text or java script now i create three variables here var secvo and ds seconds equal to 60 initially i said 60 seconds because it should reduce 60 59 58 like that then i say minutes equals to 0 initially var h o u r s hours equal to 0 here now i am going to say set interval in brackets i am going to call the function called change time and then i say comma after every 1 second so 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second guys after n after every 1 second it should call change time and here i am going to create the handler var timer handler equals to so let's say here handler timer handler i put the semicolon then i create this change time function okay i create the function called change time initially i am going to set hours minutes and seconds so for that i say here document dot get element by id in double quotations i pass here i say here seconds dot inner html equal to i am going to set the seconds this value of seconds and i am going to convert it into a string so i say here string function opening bracket closing bracket then i copy that and paste here document dot get element by id let's set here minutes minutes inner html should be the value of minutes so m i n u t e s minutes paste here then i say here hours h o u r s hours inner html here i say value of hours variable so if i save this go to browser and reload initially you see 0 0 60 displayed guys so 60 seconds 0 minutes 0 hours now this 60 seconds is going to be reduced after every 1 second it becomes 59 58 like that so for that i am going to say here after every 1 second this change time function will be called right so here i say seconds minus minus okay seconds minus minus you see here if i save this go to browser and reload you see the seconds is going to change 59 58 57 like that so when seconds value becomes if at any time seconds value becomes zero i want to set the seconds sec o and seconds back to 60 okay so it should again repeat from 60 59 like that right so if i save it go back and reload it starts at 60 you see 59 58 57 56 55 54 53 52 51 50 49 48 47 46 45 44 43 42 41 40 39 38 37 36 34 35 36 37 
60 back see when it becomes 60 minute should become 1 so what we do here here I say m i n e n u t s minutes plus plus I increment the minutes and at any time if minutes equals to equals to 60 if minutes becomes 60 I set the minutes back to 0 and I increase the hours hours plus plus so this is the code for displaying the timer guys see what happens fifty five fifty three fifty two Four, three, two, one, sixty. See, it becomes one minute. Again, it repeats. So when this value becomes sixty, we set the minutes back to zero, and we are we are going to increment the hours, guys. Understanding? So this is how you are going to display the timer, guys. If you want, you can even set like if you say here if at any time, if in case. The hours becomes equal to equal to 24 hours it should again restart right so we can simply say here SECO and yes seconds equals to 60 then MINUTS minutes equals to 0 HOURS hours equals to 0 so like that you are going to take help of set interval function guys set interval function is going to call the given function is going to call the given function repeatedly after every specified time interval guys if you want to stop the timer then you can use clear interval and pass this timer handler guys that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to try it yourself if you try you get more clear idea and if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about JavaScript. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.